All right, we're going to talk today about the difference between independent variables, dependent variables, constants, and controls, something that students often have a difficult time with. So to do this, we're going to set up an experiment that you might find occurring uh, in your own neighborhood. All right, so let's say you live on a cul-de-sac, and this is our cul-de-sac here. Okay, and inside the cul-de-sac you have, uh, on this cul-de-sac you have several different houses. Okay, so you have a house right here, you have a house right here, you have a house right here, you got a house right here. And every one of these people is very proud of their yard, and they're very into maintaining their, their lawn. The lawn, there just happen to be some of those lawn people, everybody knows those people that are completely into their lawns. So they decide to do an experiment to see how they can make their lawns be as green as possible. <clears throat> so this is say house number one, house number two, house number three, and house number four. And what they decide to do is they decide to try uh, three different types of fertilizers. So they decide to use fertilizer A, fertilizer B, fertilizer C. We're not going to worry about house number four for the time being. Everything else they decide to keep the same. So they use the same amount of fertilizer. And they use the same amount of water. Obviously, since they're all in the same cul-de-sac, they get the same amount of sun. They have the same type of grass. All these things, they're going to keep the same. And they decide to wait three weeks and then measure. They measure how green their grass is. Okay, so that's what they decide to measure. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the independent variable. Now, an independent variable is the one thing in an experiment that you change. You can only change one variable. If you change more than one variable, then you won't understand why you got the results you got. So, for instance, if we look at our experiment that we've done right here, the independent variable, the one thing that we changed is the type of fertilizer. We're going to change the type of fertilizer and then see how green the grass becomes. If we were to also change the amount of water and the type of fertilizer, we wouldn't be able to determine why we got the greenness of the grass that we did. Was it because of the fertilizer or was it because of the amount of water? So you can only have one independent variable in an experiment. So the independent variable is the one thing that you change in an experiment. And in this case, as we just said, it is the type of fertilizer. Type of fertilizer. All right. So the next thing we need to talk about is a dependent variable. The dependent variable is the one thing that you measure in an experiment as a result of your independent variable, as a result of that thing that you changed. There are lots of things that we could measure. We could measure how much water we put on the lawns. We could measure how much fertilizer we used. But those aren't what we're measuring as a result. They're not what tells us how our experiment turned out. So for a dependent variable, we want to know what did we measure as a result of the experiment. So the dependent variable. we want to know is uh, what you measure as a result of changing the independent variable. In this case, the thing that we really were trying to figure out was we were trying to determine how green the grass was. So greenness of the grass. So after three weeks we go through and let the grass grow and we're able to look at all the grass and see which one becomes the most green. And we'll say that this has become that fertilizer 2, house 2 with fertilizer B becomes the most green. Okay, we need to determine why did it become the most green? Alright, well was it because of the fertilizers? Can we recommend fertilizer B as being one of the best fertilizers to use? The question is, we, or the answer is, we don't really know yet. What would happen if we use no fertilizer at all? If we use no fertilizer at all, would fertilizer B be more green? Or perhaps the fertilizers aren't very good at all, and the fertilizers actually prevent the grass from becoming green. We have no way of knowing that unless we have a fourth house where we use no fertilizer at all. We keep things absolutely normal how they've always been. This is what a control is. A control 
is the standard that is used for comparison. Stand used for comparison. It is what is normal. In lots of drug uh, experiments with pharmaceutical companies, they'll give uh, pharmaceuticals to different people, and then they'll also give them a pill that's empty called a placebo. And they'll have those people take the pills, and then they'll test and see the people that had no medication at all. Did they have the similar results? Was it just the fact that they took medication, irregardless of what was inside, that made them feel better? That is the control in those experiments. In our experiment, the control is the yard that had no fertilizer unit used on it at all. No fertilizers okay and the final thing that we need to talk about was a constant Constants are just that. They stay the same. If you talked about your brother or sister, and you would say that they were constantly annoying, you mean that they are always annoying no matter what's going on. So a constant stays the same. We will have many constants in every experiment. In our experiment, we listed off a few of them in the very beginning. The amount of water that's put on the yards, the amount of sunlight that each yard gets, the amount, the type of grass that's used, that we always measured one, each one at the end of the three weeks, the technique that we used to measure how green the grass was. Those are all examples of constants.